Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for your sake we are being killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. An old neighbor man drove in, stopped his truck, and handed me a letter. He had just recovered from a bad case of pneumonia. He had barely survived the attack, and he still had serious breathing problems. Recently, he had been checked out at the veterans clinic, and the letter now stated that they had found an abnormal growth in the upper right lung and a degenerative spine. And then he stated, I'm too tired to jump to conclusions. I told him, well, you had a loud call. God is being good to you. He has given you the opportunity to evaluate your life, a chance to set your house in order. One by one, we must let go of this life for we will all walk the path of death. He replied, I guess you have a point there. In reality, it is a very sharp point, as sharp as death itself. It is like a two-edged sword that separates the body from the soul. Death will separate the joints and the marrow and the heart from the brain. Yea, even our whole body will decay into the dust of the earth. The thoughts and intents of the heart will cease. A stark finality. Truly, death is strong. Death is as sharp as a two-edged sword. However, the word of God is stronger and sharper yet. Love is stronger than death. God is love. God's word is so strong it can divide asunder soul and spirit. In this life before death, it can deliver our souls from the spirit of darkness, from the evil spirits and from the devil and his angels. The word of God will discern, divide asunder and judge our thoughts and intents of the heart. Truly, the word of God is alive, it is powerful. Romans 8, 16, the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. In the Bible, we hear so much about not fearing. Uh, Jesus, fear not, fear not, fear not. Then um, in uh, 1 John, it talks about that uh, anyone who fears is not made perfect in love because perfect love drives out fear. And so if we are living in fear um, of anything, and especially if we are living in fear of death, that's a, that's a torment that God wants to free us from. It is why we have the hope of salvation, the assurance of salvation um, and eternal life if we believe in Jesus Christ. In the book of Hebrews, uh, it says that uh, the devil has all our lives held us captive by our fear of death. And I read recently that every fear that a human being can have is, is based on the fear of death. God wants to deliver us from that fear, and he wants to deliver us from all fears. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for delivering us from the fear of death and any other fear that we have. We do not need to fear because your love drives out fear. We need to rest secure and sure in your love, which will give us the confidence, the strength to live our life the way you want us to live it. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for being with me. God bless you.